Hello and welcome back to Seaside Garage. The Loman Diesel is back. This is my awesome 18cc variable compression multi-fuel diesel fuel uh, burning engine. It's attached to a very beautiful NSU bike by the way. I have been working quite a lot on these, this engine. I have two of these. I've rebuilt this one, new pistons and so on. And it is riding, it's not fast. Uh, and I don't think it's supposed to be. I got a manual on this stating that it should be able to go 25 kilometers per hour. Now I haven't measured it, but I think it's doing 15, 17 kilometers at the moment. We'll check that out today. Uh, but what I want to do is to try to see if I can find the best fuel for this. In the previous video, I got my hands on some fuel mixed by someone who knows these engines. Unfortunately, I don't know what's in it. But that is going to be my baseline. And then I'm going to try to experiment with different kinds of fuel until I get at least the same performance as this one, but maybe even better. Because maybe it's not going to be any faster than this. This engine could be a little bit worn. It's very difficult to say if the compression is good because you can't measure the compression on this one. At least I don't know how to do that. But everything looks decent. It got new piston, it got new rings, and the bore looked fine, but uh, it's, it, it can be difficult to see and my measurement tools doesn't fit in it because it's an 18cc, it's very, very tiny. But what I want to do is to test the fuel that I bought in the previous video. It's this, and I don't know what that is, but that is going to be my baseline. So I'm gonna make a line down here and write X fuel. And then I'm gonna try to see how fast it goes on that fuel. And after that, I will test with two different kinds of fuels today. And then the next video series on this one, I will try with some different kinds. And please feel free to write suggestions on what kind of fuel I need to try. You might wonder why I'm not starting with diesel fuel, uh, but apparently diesel, modern day diesel is very, very hurtful for the metal parts inside the engine. So I might try it out, but I'm going to flush the engine afterwards. But what I'm doing, going to try in this video is kerosene based fuel, because I'm pretty sure that this mystery fuel is kerosene based. It smells exactly like kerosene. And what I'm going to do is to mix two kinds of kerosene based fuels and try with that. In these bottles are 200 milliliters of kerosene, the finest quality available. Um, I'm gonna add 4% of two stroke oil to both of them. And then to this over here, I'm gonna add one milliliter of Satan Booster. There is 200 milliliters in this at the moment. And that is just what I think could be good. Adding too much would be a problem, adding too little would be a problem. There we go. And then I'm just gonna mark this with C for C10 Booster. There we go, that's the test fuel. But firstly, let's do a test drive with this Betribe stuff, the mystery fuel. It's already in the tank from last experiment or last drive. Uh, so I'm just gonna heat the engine up because otherwise it's so difficult to start, especially now that it's very cold outside. There's also the possibility of changing the mixture a little bit. So it will be difficult to really see, see what works, but, but let's just do the test. I have, since the last video, installed a very cheap computer that will tell me the speed. So using this, I can test how fast this goes. So let's take it for a ride and see. Got a bit of heat and we're coming up to a straight piece of road. Let's see 
And now I'm gonna try to take the speed test and I'm gonna pick a place where I'm gonna do this measurement on all the other kinds of fuel also. So it's just a little bit, there's not a lot of wind today, so that won't also things. I'm just trying to find the best spot between compression and grip rate. 16, 17 kilometers per hour. Okay, so now I'm on my way back. Enjoy the view. I took measurement three times at the same location, uh, circling around, just to get closest to getting the same conditions. Slight wind in the back. Uh, and out of all three measurements, the average is going to be 17.2. So that is going to be the benchmark of this uh, test. 17.2 kilometers which I'm actually currently doing pretty much exactly. Now I had to let go of the adjustment, so I dropped slightly. It's very difficult to get everything perfect. But 17.2 seems to be the magic point. And now it's starting to go downhill, so we'll do a little bit quick, I think. Oh yeah. This is going downhill a little bit, but we're still quite, quite far off the 25 kilometers from the manual, uh, even downhill. 17.2 kilometers per hour on this speed machine, on the mystery fuel. So this is going to be the baseline. If I can get better than that, it's nice, but at least I want to mix something up that will get me to 17.2 kilometers per hour. Then I don't think I can ask for much more. Uh, the rest of it will probably be engine adjustment, but maybe the mystery fuel is not the ideal fuel. So next up, I'm just gonna try with the kerosene mixed with 4% two-stroke oil, the most basic kind of fuel that I could, could think of. So what I want to do now is to drain the fuel in the lines because this goes very, very, very long on a liter. So I need to make sure that all the old fuel is out before doing the test, so I'm gonna drain the line, attach a extra fuel tank, and then try on the next kind of fuel. Just gonna undo this fuel tab right there. Then I'm gonna undo the dripper. It's quite hot, by the way. Withdraw that, just to make sure all the fuel is out. And then I'm gonna take Kerosene mixed with the two-stroke oil, a very simple, simple, simple fuel. I made a cap for that. Hopefully it's tight. It is. To begin with, I'm just gonna fill the fuel line with this fuel. It's easy because it's blue. It needs to have no air in it. So there we go, ready to do the test with this kind of fuel. So that was quite surprising. The kerosene, two stroke oil, gave an average speed of 21.5. And we are talking kilometers per hour in case you were wondering, no miles. But this is very surprising. This I got as the correct kind of fuel. It was quite expensive. Uh, I thought it was the best running so far, but now that I measure it, the very basic fuel, the kerosene and 4%, two-stroke oil is a lot faster and not just a little faster, a lot faster. And I actually did this test more than three times because I thought maybe the wind had picked up or something. I consistently got around 21.5 kilometers power at that measuring point, a lot better than the X fuel over here. 
So that's quite surprising. Uh, I'm also feeling, I have tried this engine a couple of times before. There are a lot of videos on my channel about this engine and also about the other Lohmann diesel that I have. I rebuilt this and I am aware of the fact that it will get better and better and better while the, the rings are bedding in. And I think I can feel that already. It's beginning to be easier to start. It's beginning to pick up more easy and so on. But this is suddenly not that far off the 25 kilometers per hour that the manual states that this is capable of. And I'm so happy to now know that I already now got a fuel way less expensive that is outperforming the expensive one. That's nice. Let's try the kerosene with 4% two-stroke plus one milliliter of Satan booster. Let's see if that one milliliter, which is not a lot, but it is very, very concentrated stuff, is going to make a difference. So I got the fuel in with the Satan, with Satan booster. Oh, it's leaking slightly. One thing to note is that I haven't thought of any kind of breather mechanism in this sm small fuel tank, so it will create a vacuum up here, but it's using very little fuel, and this is very soft. It, it's not going to be a problem right now, especially not since it's a little bit leaky up from the connection up here, so it will be fine. Let's test this one. So back from the last test drive with a kerosene 4% two-stroke and one milliliter of Satan booster. I gotta say it was difficult to measure the one milliliter because I'm only working with 200 milliliters of fuel for this test and uh, my measurement is not that precise. So it could be between 0.5 and 1.5 millimeter. But I was trying to aim at one milliliter. And the fact is that the result on that one is 70.1 kilometers per hour. So that's worse than the kerosene without the Satan booster. And that is surprising me because I thought that would be a good thing. Uh, but it could be down to the amount. Could it be? It's probably too much, I guess. Um, another thing that I noticed that also was a bit surprising is it seems to like to run at a little higher compression with the Satan booster. This got variable compression. I adjust the compression on, in the left hand and the drip rate of the, uh, of the carburetor on the right. It's pretty much bang on in the middle of the adjustment on the two first tests. That's where it was running the best. That is exactly where it's supposed to be. If it's higher than that, it's getting too much fuel. If it's lower than that, it's getting too little fuel. But with this Satan booster, it went a little higher. And I'm actually a little bit surprised about that because I thought the Satan booster would make it ignite at lower compression, but I'm not really sure I know how that stuff works. All I know is KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. The most simple fuel <laughs> so far is the best. So that's uh, quite surprising, to be honest. And as mentioned, this is not a very scientific test, but what I want to do is to make another video in the future where I test some other kinds of fuel mixes. And I'm gonna take the best one from this test and use as a baseline. So in the next test, we will have this one down here, the kerosene, and then I will try two different kinds, maybe ether, castor oil, kerosene mix, maybe even pure diesel, uh, and see how it, it compares. The reason why I want to take this test again in the next one is because the weather will change, the temperature will change. So just to have a baseline, I'm gonna use the best from the previous each and every time I do the test. I already got quite a few different kinds of fuel that I'm going to try this way. Uh, but feel free to comment if you got some ideas about what to try. And of course my goal is 25 kilometers per hour because that's what's in the manual and I guess they tested it, but who knows. But I'd say 21.5 is not that bad. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget you can support me on Patreon. There's a link down below that helps me out a lot. And see you in the next one.